Here's to the gear hoarders, the terrain brains, the miniature maniacs, the dice goblins, the heavily encumbered. Here's to the ones who know they don't need another dice tower, but it's so shiny. This video is for you and the people who love you. Hey there, adventurers. I'm Judd, and you're watching Short Rest Studios, where we love tabletop role-playing games because they're fun, and fun builds community. If that sounds like something you want to be part of, do all the liking and subscribing. My friend Bob World Builder recently did a video about his minimalist dice collection. He did one almost a year ago about the very few things you actually need to play D&D or other TTRPGs, and I'm like, what? Nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man. Bob is a minimalist. I am not. Actually, <laughs> those are both great videos. And Bob's right. You don't need all the stuff to play D&D. But for many of us, the best accessories elevate the experience. Yes, you can play theater of the mind and it's fantastic. But sometimes having that great terrain set piece really brings the scene to life for your players. Here are some of my favorite accessories. And hey, maybe this will help you find a great Christmas gift for the D&D lover in your life. I'll drop links to all of them in the description. I'm going to start with my GM screen, the Valhalla screen from Dogmite Games. This is probably actually my absolute favorite accessory. It's solid wood, gorgeous, and incredibly well made. I've got really cool accessories for it. Acrylic boards for notes, a dice tower, pen holder, miniature shelf, this caddy for my iPad and dice sconces, and they're all magnetic, so they just pop right onto the back of the screen. The whole thing has a slot that runs across the top where you can drop in these initiative trackers. If you're the kind of game master who uses a screen, this thing makes you feel fancy. It just gives a whole different vibe at the game table. I'm mentioning it first because, well, there there is a problem. Dogmite Games went out of business, but there are other companies who make similar GM screens. Wormwood has some beautiful ones. There's also Elderwood Academy's Master Tome series. I am most intrigued by the Dungeon Master screen from Laser Ox. It's available in six wood type combinations. It's handmade. The panels are standard US letter size and they contain hidden magnets so you can attach notes to them really easily. Then there are battle mats. There are tons of these to choose from. There's the classic Chessex grid mats, Paizo flip mats, fancy neoprene mats with different types of terrain artwork on them. But the ones I've used the most consistently are the official D&D Adventure Grid. I have two of them. They're a good size for most maps. They're made of pretty sturdy cardboard and they fold to a nice size. They have stone on one side and grass on the other. You can get them for around $24. Like I said, there are a ton of options and these are definitely not the fanciest, but they're affordable. And personally, I like being able to fold them rather than having a roll up map. I just find it easier to transport and store in this format. Adventurers, there is actually a great way you can support the channel as well as me and my family this holiday season. And that's by joining the Short Rest Studios Adventurers Guild on Patreon. You get special Discord access, fun custom message stickers, private posts, a monthly adventure seed written by yours truly, and a chance to be part of a close-knit community. Plus, you get to help me keep producing this content for you. And from now through December 7th, 2020, you get 30% off your first month, no matter the membership tier. And I just want to say thanks in advance. Your support really, really means the world to me. Next up on my list of favorite accessories, my GM backpack. As a GM who runs a regular game at a local game store, one of the biggest hassles I've faced with my game is actually just getting all my stuff there. And I don't even really use a lot of my multitudinous accessories. I use a battle mat, minis, dice, my GM screen, and I usually want to have a couple of books on hand and my iPad or notebooks. There are many fantastic bags and cases for carrying your Dungeon Master paraphernalia. The problem I kept running into is that they're so dang expensive. Name brand ones like Enhance start around 60 bucks and the bigger they get, the more expensive. I didn't need something huge, but I needed something bigger than the smallest $60 one. Sure, I could use a regular travel backpack, but I was really hoping to find something designed with the Game Master in mind. Then on Amazon, I found a miracle. 
okay, that's probably overstating it, but I did find this bad boy for $37.99. I'm absolutely sure the quality is not up to the standards of the name brand ones, but this bag feels really sturdy. It's got strong padded straps, a chest strap, the main pocket opens from the front and it has a solid bottom and it's big enough to hold a pretty good sized library of D&D books or, you know, whatever TTRPG you're playing. There's a padded pocket for a laptop or tablet, several little pockets for pencils or dice vaults or whatever accessories you need to drop in. There's a zipper pocket on the front for last minute additions or small things you need easy access to. If you use rolled maps, there are straps and pockets on the side to hold them. And my favorite part is this little pocket in the top. Inside, there's a case for minis complete with pluck foam. It's not huge, but it's big enough to hold a decent supply of minis for a session. Just, you know, be careful if you load this thing down. It's it's pretty heavy. Finally, topping off my list of favorite accessories, of course, the dice. There are tons of options out there for great dice, and I have kind of a lot. If you're buying dice for a DM who just needs to have a ton of useful dice available, you can always get the pounded dice from Chessex. But I'm gonna give you two of my favorite sets. The weirdest, coolest, most fun dice I have are the Legacy of Blue Eyes liquid core dice set from Misty Mountain Gaming. They have these crazy blue dragon eyes that are always watching you. I love it. Misty Mountain has everything from your basic acrylic dice with very cool colors for around 10 bucks US to solid or hollow metal dice to gemstone dice. They have just about every kind of dice you can imagine and their designs and colors are frankly amazing. The quality is outstanding and they offer a lifetime warranty on all their dice. That's the coolest set I have. The most beautiful set of dice I own are these hand cast sharp edged resin dice from Two Crazy Casters. I love the deep purple color and those sparkly inclusions. The, the numbers are pristine and super easy to read. If you go to twocrazycasters.com, you won't be able to order from an online catalog, but you can see a gallery of their work and you can get a quote on a custom order. If you're looking for gorgeous custom dice and you want to support a great small business, you should really check out Two Crazy Casters. There you go, adventurers. Four of my favorite TTRPG accessories that will make great gifts for the game masters and role players in your life. What do you got? Let me know your favorite accessories in the comments and don't forget the links to all the products I mentioned are in the description. If you got something out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit like and subscribe to the channel and please check out the membership levels on Patreon. And check out this video right here, and I'll see you next time on Short Rest Studios.